do you foresee a time where this technology can be retrofitted for existing guns? Well, I guess two things about that. Um, first, the idea of a retrofit scared us because um, it's a firearm, and so to make it to be some kind of a kit, like a DIY situation, is really, I think, um, irresponsible, which means that it probably needs to go to a gunsmith to be done. And so that's very cumbersome, and you know, I think it would be, and really not practical to start with. Um, we do intend, of course, to bring our technology into other, other forms of firearms, though, including ARs and probably shotguns. So there's a lot more real estate to work with there and to put the technology in. But as we've gone along, I think one thing we've discovered is that all of our technology resides in the lower part of the firearm. And the same would be true in any firearm. What that means is, if, so long as it's the right generation exactly, you know, we could put our technology, say, in a, uh, a frame set for a um, Smith & Wesson M&P. Probably under some kind of a partnership with them, because that's going to be protected as opposed to the Glock that we're using is not. Um, and then, if you already own that model at home, traditional, all you need to do is take the top part off, take out the you know, the Lodestar Intel inside type uh, frame and reassemble. And now you've got, you've converted it into a smart gun. Um, we're a little concerned about that only because um, what we see in prototyping is that every year the firearms manufacturers make tiny tweaks in their, uh, in their um, product, which means that if, if there's any chance that you're gonna put the wrong you know, part A onto part B and they don't exactly match, it's not gonna work right. It could be dangerous, it could just generally not work. So, you know, my, my, my view is, yes, there's 400 million guns out there in civilian hands right now. Do we need to somehow replace all 400 with smart guns? No, to have an impact, no. Because of those 400 million guns, they're concentrated in roughly 30% of American homes, which means those homes own on average 12 or 13 guns. Only maybe one is designated as for home defense. So the rest can be locked up. And so we have a much greater impact than you'd think. Because remember, it's, that, it's the gun that's in the kitchen drawer that's misused, not the 10 that are in the, in the, in the, in the vault.